Operating the engines is a fairly straightforward and common sense procedure if you follow these simple steps. First, let's take a look at the tilt and trim switch. This switch moves the engines upward out of the water and downward back into the water. It's critical that this switch be in the down position before starting the engines. Before we actually start the engines, there are three things you need to do. First, ventilate the engine compartment by operating the blowers for at least five minutes before you start the engines. Failure to do so could result in an explosion or fire resulting from igniting fumes of petroleum. Secondly, post a lookout to ensure that there are no swimmers behind your boat. Your lookout should remain on the rear deck until you are well clear of the dock or mooring area. And third, after you're sure that it's all clear behind your boat and the blower has been running for at least five minutes, start your engines. When you turn the ignition switches on, the throttle control will beep and the light will flash. This is normal. Make sure that the throttle is in the neutral position. Press the button until the light becomes solid. Now you can start the engine and turn off the engine blower. Slowly engage the engine throttles in the appropriate position, either for backing up or for moving forward. With all these steps completed, you should be safely underway.